Almost 50 years ago, Steve Udvarhazy, along with Leslie and Louis Gonda, founded Isle of Sea. But the three did not only set up a company, they also created a new sector of business, aircraft leasing. The majority of the commercial aircraft fleet is now owned by La Source. The concept has proven to be overwhelmingly successful. Someone at one of Steve's biggest suppliers of aircraft remembers the early days. Steve wanted to buy some 310s and I was intrigued. A leasing company buying new aircraft, wide body aircraft on speculation. Well, that's how Steve opened up the entire leasing market and opened up an opportunity for new aircraft for a lot of companies, airline companies that otherwise never were able to afford new aircraft. I think the industry can really thank him a lot for that. I would actually say his biggest achievement was actually founding the aircraft leasing industry in 1973 and his influence in product design and uh, that started uh, way back uh, in the early years. I'm sure there are many airlines around the world who owe their existence to Steve Hazy and will be pleased that uh, Steve was around when they needed him to do a deal. For Hazy, aviation was more than just a business or even a passion. It was a symbol of freedom, as he once called it. He grew up in communist Hungary, and it was clear from very early on that his family wanted to escape to the US. His love for aviation was also the driving force behind his business ventures. To do a deal, that's what describes Hazi's professional life best. Hazi would do deals with airlines that the big manufacturers or other lessors did not even consider. Most of the time, the risk paid off. So what did that mean for the airlines? I remember the first deal I did with Steve really well because it was shortly after I took over as CEO of Aer Lingus in October 2001. And we were desperately trying to raise additional liquidity. But to be honest, very few people gave us a chance of survival and therefore didn't want to talk to us. And then in stepped Steve. Um, we did a deal with him on a sale and lease back on a few... Boeing 737-500s. But I can remember him saying to me as we shook hands and before he headed back uh, on his way across the Atlantic that you know he hoped I would remember the deal. And boy, has he reminded me of it ever since. When you try to find out why Steve Hasey has been so successful, the two factors that come up the most are dedication and detailed knowledge of aircraft and airlines. Steve's success is born from one fundamental fact, and that is his absolute passion for airplanes and for the airlines that we serve. That has given rise to his encyclopedic, truly encyclopedic knowledge of the aircraft and of the airlines themselves. And finally, his knowledge and his experience in geography. He knows city pairs, he knows distances, and he can equate them to aircraft types. Pilot, dealmaker, airline rescuer, avid OAG reader, there are many attributes that describe Steve Hasey's life. Oh, and John Leahy has one more. About 15 years ago in a newspaper article, somebody referred to him as the godfather of the industry. He pretended not to like it, although uh, I think uh, secretly quite enjoys it. But it's true. He is the godfather of the industry. Godfather or not, Steve Hasey left ILFC in 2010. But of course, it did not take long for Hasey to resurface with a new company, Airlies Corporation, set up the same year, going public the next, and now again, one of the big players. But aircraft leasing is not the only thing that Hasey has contributed to the industry. In 2003, the Stephen F. Udvar Hasey Center of the Air and Space Museum opened at Washington Dulles Airport. An incredible place to immerse yourself in the history of Hazi's beloved industry. Before we ask Steve on stage, some last comments from a few friends. It's been an absolute blast. We've had a great time. And I hope we have many, many more years together. Congratulations, Steve, on this award. And congratulations, Chris, for putting up with Steve and the rest of us in this industry for all those many years. Steve, congratulations and best wishes. And as is always the case when I'm either talking to you or about you, I've left my wallet locked safely in my office, so there's no way you can get any money off me today.